Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm just going to show you a haul that I've done today. Uh, that I that was a bit un, unintended. Uh, I just wanted to go to town and just have a look around. But me being me, I should have known beforehand that I would buy stuff. And just before I left, I watched a the drag queen video um, tutorial that Nikki from Pixie Woo did. And she talked about different foundations and one of the foundations that she mentioned mentioned as full coverage is the rich liquid foundation by Elamasca and I absolutely love the guys and the girls from Elamasca whenever I go to the Elamasca store in Birmingham's ball ring I have such a great time they they once actually picked me out when I had pink hair and I, was, I literally was just walking around they actually grabbed me and said can we do your makeup whatever um, yeah, so, and I ended up with pink eyebrows and whatnot, it was great. I love Elamasca because they just really express their creativity rather than all of the other stores that you go to, Mac, Nars, Bobby Brown, all their sales assistants look normal, have normal eyeshadows, have normal makeup, have normal whatever, whereas the Elamasca guys and girls actually have more, you know, sort of an editorial sort of look. So yeah, um, I went there to get a sample of the Rich Liquid Foundation and bless him, he was, Gavin was the only guy there in like the rush of shopping on a, you know, work day. Um, so he was rushing around and start trying to serve everyone and Elon Musk was having a sale so lots of people standing around. So like he served one customer and like let me know that, you know, I needed to wait a bit because he was on his own. I was like, yeah, don't worry, whatever. So once he had time, we got along really, really well and he suggested that I try the rich liquid and the cream foundation and then, you know, they would just, you know, we would just see which one fits me better and blah, blah, blah. And I wanted a sample, but they don't do samples, but never mind. So we tried on the foundations and, you know, he did his magic and I chose to buy um, the Rich Liquid foundation, which comes in a black pack like this. So there's a La Masca on the front and it has the, the colour code on the top. It's RF150. Fortunately, they don't do um, any sort of names for their, you know, shades, like, you know, Estee Lauder does with their shade and shell and ecru and whatever. They just do codes, and so I'm 150, and the foundation looks like this. Um, it's a squeezy tube, which is nice, and uh, it has like a sort of really pointed dispenser in the, in the, in the as a as a tip, um, which I quite like because you can control better how much you how much product you actually want on your on the back of your hand or in your palette where you mix colours or whatever you do. Um, some products like come in pumps or you know don't come with anything and you just kind of have to pour it on or you have to squeeze the pump it onto your back of your hand. Sometimes you get too little, sometimes you get too much. It's all a big mess, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. I'm wearing it at the moment. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet what to think of it, but I've only had it on for a couple of hours, so... Wait and see if I don't like it, I'll bring it back. So, that was the one thing. And then I was like, Gavin, you know, give it a go. Just do my makeup if you fancy and just go crazy with the colours, I don't really care. Because I always like giving makeup artists real freedom in the stores because they normally don't get that. Normally the, the customers that go there they're like, mmm, smoky eye or whatever, natural eye or, you know. So I was like, you know, go mental. And he did, <laughs> as you can see. So a lot of, he, he worked on top of my eyeshadow. And I was wearing a natural look, which I used the Too Faced Naked Eye palette for. So pink and greyish colours. And he worked off that and he used a dark teal to work into my crease. And then he used a, a their liquid metal 
cream base in blue and navy blue and then he used some fairy dust and he used some eyeliner and what I love about this I'm going to come closer because my zoom doesn't work don't know if you can see it I have turquoise eyeliner on which I absolutely absolutely love I didn't see the colours that he was putting on me while we, we were just chatting away and I was you know asking him a million and two questions and mentioned JB or YB whatever you want to pronounce them and asked him if he used them and what he thought and bitched and moaned a bit about Mac and whatever so I I only kind of said during the during while we were chatting that I don't normally do blue because it doesn't really suit me uh, because it's not a colour that you know goes with brown very well but he didn't say anything so I just let him do his magic and looked up and looked down and whatever he wanted and it came out like this and I absolutely love it I really think uh, especially the turquoise um, eyeliner I absolutely adore unfortunately I didn't buy that one oh well but the, he used some other products that I needed more so that was the foundation then I bought what I call fairy dust um, it is they call it pure pigment comes comes in a squared sort of you know little plastic box like this and it's got a little um, little lid inside I'm gonna leave that on that's so like a little tape thing and then it's only got a little hole I'm not sure little hole in the middle where you can either pour some product in here or you can you know just dab your brush in it and it's absolutely let me pick up some I'm not sure if you can see that it's absolutely gorgeous and the, the great thing about this product which which is why I bought it it looks pretty as it is but oh my god on dark colours it just blew my mind it was just an effect that I'd never seen before in my life and it's so basically you can describe this as duo, duo chrome that it looks pretty and you know very dusty ish on light colours or on just you know your skin like I had he put it on my cheeks as a highlighter um, and I think that's quite pretty but on dark products you know dark eyeliner black eyeliner blue eyeliner anything it looks just stunning so I had to have it um, so that was the one thing that I bought and then he put a lipstick on me and I absolutely like I really like the Alamasca lipsticks that they have and he put a really dark lipstick on me it didn't come out as dark on the lips but I think that was because he was living using a lip brush and it comes in a tube like this so in a shiny black sort of again that inner mask shape where you've got the square but it's not square it's kind of the uh, the corners are pulled out and it's a gorgeous gorgeous color uh, I'd say that's a dark burgundy plum ish color and it's called Diablo and I'm not, I don't have it on anymore because I've had food but it's so so pretty and he put then he put some gloss on and then he put that fairy dust on again and it just I said I have to have it I have to have it and then because this together was more than 40 pounds worth he gave me a choice and for freebie and it could either be a foundation brush or a liquid eyeliner and duh I totally have to go for the foundation brush obviously I felt really nice when he used the foundation brush on me to apply the different products that he was using so I'm really excited to have that now and I hate I have a foundation brush by Sigma that is quite thick compared to let me just show you let me just I'm not sure if you can see that, but the Ilamasca one is a lot thinner than the than the Sigma one, and I believe that's actually made of normal, like natural hair, whereas this one is out of 
synthetic hair and uh, the Sigma one always eats a lot of product and I always have to use a lot of product to get the coverage that I want and that's not down to the foundations because my Makeup Forever HD foundation is a full coverage foundation and yet it still takes a lot of product. It takes about two squirts on the back of my hand to actually get enough coverage so it must, must be the brush. So I'm really happy that I got that one. And then, he was such a sweetheart, he actually gave me a gift box, which was obviously for free. It's got the yellow Musk sign on the front, and it's got like a little big black bead on the top. And it opens up, and it's all red inside, and it has the yellow Musk sign in there as well, which I think is really, really cute. Like, just like that. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to fill it with sand about one third full and I'm going to put all my brushes in there because I saw that a similar thing at Sephora where they had little cubes and had them filled with um, plastic beads and then had the brushes in there and I thought that was quite clever so I'm going to be doing that and then after that I went into Soup Drug and I bought um, a few items there as well because once I'm in them, you know, in that mode of buying makeup, can't really stop. So what I did was I bought uh, the makeup MUA. Uh, it's a loose eyeshadow in purple, and what I like is that it actually comes with a sticker on top, so it doesn't spill it everywhere. And it, again, it only has a little, little hole, and it's a really pretty purple. It's, it looks like it's got the frosty finish and I tested it in the shop and it was quite pigmented so I'm going to be doing using that and then I bought the um, Collection 2000 Glam Crystal Eyeliner uh, in gold that has golden golden uh, glitters in them and I used one on, on my one of my recent uh, makeup tutorials not sure if it's on online yet. I used this one, the purple um, glitter eyeliner, and I actually, use, when it comes to glitter eyeliners, I swear by Collection 2000 Glam Crystals because they actually get a lot of glitter on, on in one go, on in one you know line, without having to go back and do it again and again. Absolutely love them, and I bought this gold one for New Year's. Um, and then I bought, and these I've never seen before, I bought two Collection 2000 Extreme 24 hour felt tip liners. They look like this. And I got them in turquoise and in, in plum or purple or whatever. And they both look like this. So they have, as that says, felt tips and uh, I've never had any of these, so I'm really looking forward to trying these. Um, yeah, because I don't have felt tip liners, and the normal liquid liners always make my eyes go crazy, so yeah. Yeah, and that was my whole video, and I'm going to include, I'm going to do a post about this on my blog, and I'm going to include pictures in there, and I'm going to include pictures at the end of this video. Right. Thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.